So guys, for the first method, you just want to simply restart your game. So if you're on console, just close it and then open it back up again. If you're on PC, either close it from the top right, click on the X, or you can just head over to search and type in Task Manager, click on it. And then once you're on this, you just want to find Black Ops 6. Once you find it, you want to click on it and then click on End Task. Then you just want to open it back up again, see if that works for you. Now for the next method, we're going to check our internet connection. If you're on console, just try to restart your router, see if that works for you. And if you're on PC, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. Then you want to find network and internet, click on run. This will come up. If it finds any problems, it will fix it for you. You also want to make sure that you have no current proxy server or VPN enabled right now. So we're going to head over to search again and type in proxy settings, click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on setup. Make sure that you have this turned off. You also want to head over to search again and type in VPN settings, click on it. If you have a current VPN connection active right now, you just want to turn it off. And now for the next method, if you're on console, you just want to restart your console. If you're on PC, you just want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. And now you want to type in NETSH space WinSOP space resets and click on enter again. And now you want to head over to search again and type in network reset. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on reset now and then click on yes. It's now going to restart your computer automatically in five minutes or you could just restart it yourself and then the problem should be fixed.